Well, welcome to Bowes Creek Country Club. Uh, my name is Mike Lehman. I'm the director of golf for the city of Elgin and uh, head professional here at Bowes Creek. We are located uh, west of Randall Road, 1250 Bowes Creek Boulevard. We are part of the uh, Toll Brothers community out here. Really a great, great venue uh, that's been developed here as a partnership between Toll Brothers and the city of Elgin. The golf course really has unique characteristics. I would say that um, 75 percent of the holes that are out here have water on them. They're not necessarily all in play, but uh, they are slice side uh, on many occasions. All the golf holes are really kind of framed up very nicely by the bunkerage that's out there. Uh, the bunkers are one of our unique features. These bunkers really kind of face you uh, when, you're, when you're hitting your shots. Uh, big faces on them, uh, fescue grasses uh, that lay over the top of the bunker. So a little menacing, uh, but can be handled uh, with proper technique. The greens themselves are, are, are decent size, uh, but not oversized. So you won't see the, the, the super large greens at some of the golf courses that are out there. Uh, allows you to hit a precision shot and be rewarded for such. Well, welcome to the 18th hole at Bowes Creek Country Club. Uh, great golf hole. Uh, from all the way back here, it's probably uh, 430 yards, par four. Uh, it's a little bit menacing, has uh, wetlands area on the right-hand side and uh, bunkerage uh, that are really kind of targets. You can see actually a target bunker uh, in the middle of the fairway and uh, then it leads to a slight dogleg right up to the green and actually the, uh, the clubhouse. So you can see that off in this hole. Uh, so it can be a little scary, but if you focus on the fairway, you'll be all right. So uh, let's see if I can focus on the fairway. So many golf courses, they focus on one hole and say that's our signature golf hole, but there's so many unique experiences. All these golf holes offer something a little bit different. Uh, this one certainly is one of those holes that kind of keeps you coming back for more, and, and that's what I like to see uh, with, with my patrons. I want them to, to experience a, a great view uh, before they finish up, and that's what number 18 does for you. Obviously, I'm here in the bunker. Don't go in the bunker. Um, but if you are, you're gonna see uh, some tremendous height on the, on the face and the wall of this bunker. Uh, you can see that these German eyebrows, if you will, kind of hanging over, uh, getting ready to capture your ball. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that one. I'm out. Let's hit a shot close. Well, we made it up to the green. Hit a good shot in there, about six feet. And uh, got a little work left for me, but um, you can see the, the green that we're playing on here is, uh, has a nice little collection bay off to the, uh, to the one side, uh, so that if you miss it just a little bit, you'll end up going in there, having yourself a nice little shot. Um, it's heavily bunkered. Of course, you can't see them from here because uh, you've made it past them. So uh, kind of a unique feature, even when you look back on the golf hole, all those bunkers that were staring you in the face uh, now have essentially disappeared. So really a unique feature. But uh, I'm past that and onto the green, so let's see if I can just put this par in there. I'm thinking it's pretty, pretty straight. And those are the most difficult sometimes. Go. We're standing here on the tee box of hole six and three. It's a joint tee box and uh, heading out to the to the east is a par five hole number six. Uh, obviously it has a lake on the right hand side which visually you're not supposed to really identify. Just focus on the fairway. Uh, again another target bunker out there and um, the fairway actually splits and and uh, a creek rolls across it uh, where you enter to a peanut shaped green. Uh, off to the right over here uh, is our hole number three, uh, which is a great par three. Hits you early in your round. In case you want to double clutch on this one, there's an, that lake also uh, takes care of things on the left-hand side. So uh, your bailout area is a bunker, and your double clutch is a, is a water hazard. 
You know, part of my role as Director of Golf for the City of Elgin is to oversee operations at the Highlands of Elgin. Uh, that's located right off of Route 20 in McLean Boulevard in Elgin. It's uh, uh, built out of a quarry. They're, they're much broader fairways. you got rolling hills. There's an influence of uh, Scottish golf that uh, you can obviously see when you go play the Highlands. You've got uh, native areas that kind of uh, uh, roll up into the mounds, and so that creates some of that atmosphere. The bunkers are a flat bottom bunker, which is a different style. Uh, allows the grass to, uh, to, to go down the slope and then essentially have a, have a nice flat area to, to hit bunker shots out of. So the bunkering's a little different, the rolling hills and, and the native grasses really create a great atmosphere and, and really reflect that Scottish style. I believe that the city of Elgin has set the standard in regards to golf locally. You know, even you could even go regionally and nationally. I, I think that we offer three great products. Wing Park, which is the oldest nine-hole municipal golf course in Illinois, offers a nine-hole golf experience where a beginner can learn, uh, learn the game and uh, a senior can go and enjoy themselves and not have to spend a lot of money. You've got the Highlands, which is a great value, uh, great golf experience, great golf product, and then you've got Member for a Day at Bowes Creek. So I think all three of those allow anybody an opportunity to play golf in Elgin and have great golf uh, to be played.